Hey guys, how's it going? Today on the show, we compare a stock Bowen stock 5.7 Hemi with a modified cammed 5.7 Hemi just to see how they compare with each other. Kind of help you guys out if you're thinking about modifying your cars, we take them to the drag strip and get some comparisons. Okay guys, today on the show I thought it would be a fun idea if we compared a bone stock 5.7 Hemi Challenger with my modified cammed 5.7 Challenger. Now the reason that I thought that would be a good comparison is if any of you guys are thinking about keeping your car NA as in not putting a supercharger on the car, but you wanted to modify it and see what kind of performance you can get and how much better that performance would be versus stock. I thought this would be a really good comparison for you guys just to see it in a physical sense with a comparison out at the drag strip between the two cars. Now as luck would have it, one of my subscribers, Matt, super nice dude, brought his 5.7 Hemi Challenger that's also a manual so it takes the transmission variable out of it. So we got two of the same transmissions, the only difference is the modifications between my 5.7 and his 5.7 that's bone stock. So it's literally just engine versus engine. Uh, so you guys can really see that comparison. Matt decided to come out and hang out with me for a track day. Uh, it was super fun kind of getting to check each other's runs out. And then eventually we got a good heads up race in there. So you guys can compare exactly what the difference is between modifying your car and keeping it NA or, or stock and seeing like how far along you can take your car. Decide for yourselves whether or not you think it's worth it. But guys, before we get into that, I did have a couple races beforehand on this particular date that I'm gonna throw up here. First one being against a six gen Camaro SS. I love using that as a comparison for my car because they come with great performance right out of the box and they're always comparing themselves. It's kind of like the, the general comparison between Dodge and Chevy is the Scat Pack versus the Camaro SS. So I love going up against these Camaro SS's uh, is a good way to compare my performance on my modified RT to what a Scat Pack would be or just between the Camaro SS, give you an idea of what kind of performance we're putting out with this combination we got right now. That and my little brother-in-law, I raced him in his 72 Corvette, which was super fun. Uh, our cars are very, very close to each other in time, so both were really close races. Let's get into it. Well. First run of the day against the Camaro SS again. My little brother is right in front of me in the Camaro that's in the left lane, or sorry, in the Corvette that's in the left lane. Curious how he does. Got a 13.6. All right, let's see how we do against this Camaro. I'm gonna try to tree him. Oh, didn't mean to double stage. My bad. I'm a dick. That is another 6th gen Camaro SS kill for this guy. Uh, going up against my little brother-in-law again. I re remember the first run that we went up against each other, he spun. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a garbage run, which is funny because he always hooks up. His car hooks up really, really well. He's actually got it set up nice. So 
the fact that he spun is kind of funny against me. But uh, round two, this is for the marbles, I guess, sort of. Let's see if we both get a good run. It's going to be close. Our cars are very close. here. Got him. That's a pretty close one. I did tree him. I definitely treat him. Okay guys, and finally, me and Matt get to line up with each other. Now Matt is completely stock, aside from some 275 millimeter wide tires all the way around on his car. Gives him a little bit wider footprint to help him hook up a little better. Other than that, totally bone stock. Here we go. This is gonna be a good one. This is a race between one of my subscribers, Mr. Matt, he's a super nice dude. He has a black RT 5.7 liter Challenger with a manual just like mine, except for he's totally stock. So it's totally stock 5.7 versus cammed and modified. It's not going to be a fair race. There we go. here with Matt. Uh, just telling you, Matt has the stock, uh, what is it, 2018, 2018 Challenger RT. He's got the stock 5.7 Hemi, totally stock. The only thing he's got done to it is a nice set of tires on it so he can hook. What did you, uh, we raced with that last one. What did you think of that last one? Uh, not bad, but shook the tires real bad. <laughs> shook the tires a little bit. Yeah. But uh, still not too bad. What uh, How are you feeling about your your run so far today? Uh, not too bad. I think a few more and uh, might be able to get it uh, under wraps. Get it to hook a little better. You realize the, the problem with coming and, and probably racing me probably is that you probably want to modify your car really badly now. Yes, all of these stuff wants to come real quick. <laughs> <laughs> when I see you walk away from me, it just makes me want to spend money. <laughs> Okay, there you have it guys. Now, I will say, I do have to say, on this particular race, you can see in Matt's perspective, from Matt's camera, 
he definitely did get some wheel hop going. You can see the camera bouncing and jiggling a little bit as his car's wheel hopping at the start. And you can tell that when you look at his 60 foot. His 60 foot on that run was a 2.4, uh, which he should be able to pull probably about 2.1 to 2.2 for sure. For sure a 2.2 60 foot time. Uh, that particular day, I did see Matt run uh, a bunch of 13 twos in that weather that we were having that day. So that launch cost him, cost him two tenths of a second, but even still, you do get a feel for the difference in performance of the cars, even though I jumped ahead of them a fair bit off the line, you can still see my car pretty much consistently pulling on them the entire way through. It does give you an idea of the difference in performance between the two cars. Uh, it was super fun to meet up with a subscriber at the track. Uh, always good to talk to you guys and hang out. And I thought this particular example would just be a good one for everybody just to see if they were thinking, if they were on the fence about modifying their car, maybe they're gonna get a scat pack, but they really didn't wanna dig in and, and the used car market is really brutal right now. They kind of, they really like their car. They're kind of attached to it. Maybe they're gonna modify it. They don't really know if it's worth it. Well, this is a good example of how much more performance you can get just with a couple modifications, keeping your car NA and how much more improved performance you can get than a bone stock 5.7. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. We have some really good stuff coming for you. I hit a really cool milestone that I've been trying to do for two years since I started this channel that I am unbelievably stoked on. I can't wait to get that video out to you guys. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys later. Good to talk to you. And as always, take her easy guys. See ya.